trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting you, we're trusting you, we're trusting you, we're trusting you. I heard some great news this morning. Cam and the crew fixed the tracks. Cam will finally be able to drive down the mountain and deliver all the M&Ms. Hey, hey, Bob. Hey, Cam. Hey, guys. How are you doing, Cam? Are you guys cheering for me? Well, are you cheering for me? We are. Our crew. That's, yeah, we that's are. Right. Aren't you excited to finally get to go down the mountain and take all the M&Ms to all the people? Yeah, I'm so excited. Excited. Oh look, a squirrel! Over there! What? Uh, Cam? Cam? Where, where did you go? Wait a minute. Why are you hiding? Hey, Cam? Hey, hey, if you, if you happen to see the conductor, why don't you tell him I'm uh, out watering my lawn? Cam, I don't know why you're hiding. But you might as well come out of here, you know, and tell us what's really going on. Yeah, come on, yeah, just yeah, come on. Let's get out of behind the plane. Yeah, you're you're probably right, but but maybe I should maybe I should wear a disguise here. I found this. And then, and then, what, do you, what do you think of this? What well, do you think of this disguise? Well, oh, unless you're disguising yourself as a bandit that just robbed your train, I don't think it's gonna work. Probably right. So just tell us what's going on. Well, you know, the conductor told me, even though I'm so excited about, about taking those M&Ms to the people, the conductor said, we got to go up a mountain and then down and steep, steep drop into a valley. Yeah, yeah. And you know, like a roller coaster. You know, I've I've driven trains. I, I've driven trains over little hills, and I've driven trains over the flat plains and all kinds of curves. But Bob, you know what? What? I've never gone up and then down a steep mountain. Wow. Frankly, I'm pretty nervous. I thought that's what you wanted to do, and then you get to deliver all the M and M's to all the kids. Yeah, but I tell you what, I just don't think I can do it. You can't do it? I don't think so. Well, doing new things can take courage and boldness. And that's why I'm glad I don't have to do those things. And it says today, Jesus' power helps us be bold. He helps us. You don't have to face it on your own, on your own power. You can trust that the one strong enough to make the mountains is strong enough to help you get over them. Bob, uh, that sounds really nice, but I'm still pretty nervous. Oh. We have some songs that might give you some boldness and tackle the new challenges. They'll remind you that Jesus' power helps you be bold. Hey, okay, that could help a lot. Maybe... I'll stick around and listen to you guys sing sing some songs. Okay. We Thank believe you. in you, Cam. Thanks. You can do it. Go. Go right. take care of things, okay. okay? Thank you. Welcome back, terrific travelers. Who's on board for another adventure on the Rocky Railway? Here we're discovering that Jesus' power pulls us through, even when life gets a little off track. Let's sing about that right now with Your Power Will Pull Us Through, our theme song for this week. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. on the 
this journey there's no looking back With Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. are big and bold because they have important messages to communicate. Sometimes God wants us to be bold too. Sometimes we have to stand up for what we believe. We have to say things that are unpopular. We need to share what we believe about Jesus even though no one else feels the same way. Being bold can be hard, but you're not in it alone. Our Bible point today is Jesus' power helps us be bold. Let's celebrate Jesus' power with a strong song. Here and here 
everybody will help us remember that Jesus' power helps us be bold today. Is everyone on board for another exciting day? I'm roaring to go. My name is Sierra and I'm a mountain lion. Now you might think lions only belong in Africa, but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like pumas, panthers, catamounts, and cougars. That's because I live all over the western part of the globe, and different people have different names for me. In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's gotta eat. Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream, though. <coughs> Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and pounce. Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful, mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold when you need to make a new friend. Tell the truth. Or boldly talk about Jesus. The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you, cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Sierra is a mountain lion, and we have the perfect story to remind us to be bold like a mountain lion. Now let's go to the Bible story. Peter and John teach about Jesus. Welcome to day three of Bible Adventures, VBSers. Um, I'm so glad you're here today with us because we've been talking about how Jesus' power helps us to be bold. And we're gonna talk about a story of the early church and how they were bold. It's experiencing from the book of Acts, which is in the New Testament, and we're gonna to travel to the city of Jerusalem. And because this, this whole story kicks off with someone who can't walk. Do any of you know someone who can't walk? Today, people that can't walk are in a wheelchair, they can work, they go to school. But back in Bible times, there were no wheelchairs. Like everybody that was could not walk, they couldn't have a job, they couldn't be a carpenter, they couldn't be a fisherman. Um, so most of them, what they would do is they would lay in front of the temple on the street and ask people to help them and give them money. So today, that's exactly the story that we're going to explore. There was this man that had sat at the temple for over 40 years. He had not been able to take a step in 40 years. 
Like we said, today, someone who can't walk can have a really full and productive life, but that was not so back then. So sometimes people would throw him coins as they went into the temple or just walked past him without even giving him a second look. It really, really was a hard life for this man. Well, one day, two Christians named Peter and John were on their way to the temple. They stopped right in front of the man. They had something for him, and it was way better than what he was probably expecting. Peter said something really bold, like, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I have something better. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. How would you all think of comparing that gift, the gift of saying, get up and walk, with getting some silver or gold? So what happened? when Peter boldly said that Jesus would heal the man? Do you know what happened? I'll show you what happened. That man got up, jumped up, praised God. And we can just see him, can't we? Think of the excitement after 40 years that you're able to walk. So everybody right now, stand up, get on your feet, and let's, let's jump up and praise God for the story of the boldness of Peter in the name of Jesus, heal this man. So that miracle, friends, I gotta tell you, that sparked a lot of commotion. Can you imagine in front of the temple, this man that had been there, lying there and asking for money was up and walking. A huge crowd gathered. And then you know what happened? Another really bold thing happened. Peter and John stood up and they started teaching about Jesus. They told the crowd who Jesus was and that the, everyone needed Jesus in their life. Now, some in that crowd got really angry when they heard that because they weren't really a big fan of Jesus. Some of the people, like some of the Jerusalem leaders, they thought Jesus was a liar. And they thought that the Christians who talked about Jesus were liars too. So you know what, that kind of makes me wonder something. When it's hard or unpopular for you to talk about Jesus, do you share Jesus' love still? So, you know, it sounds like you have an idea of what things were like for Christians in Jerusalem by hearing this story right now. The leaders, those leaders got so mad at Peter and John that they had the guards seize them and keep them in jail for the night. The leaders told Peter and John, you stop talking about this Jesus. Peter and John had to make a decision. Would they stay quiet and stay out of trouble and be safe? Or were they gonna keep talking about Jesus and the power of Jesus in our lives and were they going to be bold? Well, Peter and John said, you know what? Everybody needs to know about Jesus. They boldly told those leaders, we can't obey you instead of Jesus. We're not going to stop telling people about Jesus' love. And that was like, wow, that is bold. They really stood up and took a stand. Those angry leaders threatened Peter and John, and they told them, once again, don't talk about Jesus anymore. And they said, if, we, if you stop talking about Jesus, we'll let you go. So they went back, they let Peter and John go, they did let them go, even though Peter and John said they weren't gonna stay silent about Jesus. So the men went back to their Christian friends and told them what had happened. And do you know what their friends did, Peter and John's Christian friends? They prayed to all together, asking God for courage. I know we all need courage when it comes to being bold in what we believe. But you know, sometimes when we're surrounded by friends that will help us and support us and pray for us, it helps us to be more bold, that we're not necessarily alone. And God knows that. That's why. God brings people in our lives to help us. So let's say a prayer as we end our Bible adventure today. Dear Jesus, thank you for always being with us 
It's comforting to know we're never alone. When we feel like we're the only ones who believe in you, when we feel like we're the only ones facing tough stuff, we know you're right beside us, giving us your strength, love, and boldness. We love you and thank you. Amen. Imagination Station today, friends. We're on day three of VBS, and I'm so glad that you came back to enjoy our special science activity today. I can't imagine all the discoveries we'll make together today, but you know what comes first. Did you remember to bring your imagination? Some of you remember, but some of you forgot. Uh-oh. So now we're going to need to have a bunch of imagination today. Um, so, I had a little chat with my friend Sierra. You may have met her. She's a mountain lion. And she was telling me something amazing about herself and all of her mountain lion friends. Did you know that mountain lions like Sierra can jump up to 15 feet in the air all by themselves? Okay, that's higher than most ceilings. Everyone stand up. All right, friends, today we're gonna see if we can jump 15 feet like a mountain lion. Ready? And I count to three, we're all gonna jump. Okay, one, two, three. Wow, that was pretty high. It wasn't 15 feet, let's try again. One, two, three. Oh, that was higher. Still wasn't 15 feet. How does she do that? Should we try one more time? Okay, everybody, get down, get ready. Ready to really spring up? Let's see if we can do it this time. Oh, no. Well, I wonder what would help us. No, I think that was pretty fun, but I don't think we're ever going to be able to match Sierra's jumps on our own. We might need something to give us a little power to make us to go higher. Let's think about that for a while when while we um, look at today's special start, talk starter question. Here it is. Which is stronger in a mountain lion? Does it have a stronger sense of smell or a stronger sense of hearing? So if you think a mountain lion has a stronger sense of, sense of smell, put your thumb up. If you think they have a stronger sense of hearing, put your thumb down. Let's all think about it. Drum roll while we think about it. Mountain lion have a greater sense of smell or hearing? They, and the answer is mountain lions have a weak sense of smell, a very weak sense of smell. But they have an extremely sensitive sense of hearing. And it's very powerful. Imagine that. Okay, friends. I've been thinking about it. Our jumping. How could we use Jesus' power? or use the power to make our jumping more bold. Because I was only getting maybe, maybe six inches to a foot when I jumped. I don't know how much, maybe you were jumping higher. You're not quite as big and old as me, but maybe if we put all our jumps together, we might be able to measure 15 feet, but I thought of something. Do you know what kind of power we could use to get us a really big jump? What if we took our little jumps to a trampoline and just jumped that little jump on the trampoline? What would happen? Wouldn't that make our jump big and bold and it make us a lot more confident in our ability to do the jump? That's kind of what Jesus' power does for us. Knowing that Jesus is always with us gives us the power to be a little bit more bold in sharing what we believe or sharing what we think about something. Like maybe, if you were always um, praying before you had lunch, you, you might do it all by yourself, but then later somebody might ask you, what are you doing when you hold your hands and bow your head before you have lunch? And you could share that, be a little bold and share what you're doing, and they might want to pray before their lunch too. Or maybe um, you see somebody that's not really having any fun over there on the side at the playground, and you could go over and ask them, 
what's making them a little bit sad and be a little bit bold knowing that Jesus is with you and wants you to care about people. How could you use Jesus' power to help you be bold today? That's what we're talking about. And so, we're going to go on and I'm going to show you a little trick. Our super science gizmo today is called a bold blaster. Now, this is part of the bold blaster. It's a ball with a straw in it. Now, watch what happens when I drop it. That wasn't very exciting. Let's try again. Boy, I was hoping that ball would jump really high or something would jump really high. It's not doing anything. Well, if you noticed in your um, Tuesday bag for VBS, you will notice that you have this little extra attachment. It's like a special straw with some special attachments at the end and a little clear part. Now, if I take my special attachment and put it over that straw and then bounce, watch what happens. Ooh, nothing there time. Let's try again. We're going to put the clear part on the top. Oh, did you see that? That straw attachment went way up in the air. Let's try again. Put your clear part on the top. Hold your bounce, your bowl blaster in the air, and then just drop it. Wow, <laughs> that really went far that time. Friends, you could have all kinds of fun with this in your house. You could try it on the carpet floor. You could try it in the kitchen. You could try it going off the table. You could try it in the bathroom. Just be careful that you're not trying it in front of something that could break or someone that could get hurt. Ooh, that one just got me. See, they could be a little bit dangerous. I'm gonna do it one more time because it's so fun. Wow, that time it just went straight up. Enjoy your bold blaster today, and remember, Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Hello, VBSers. Welcome to our Rocky Wrap-Up, day three. Um, we learned about being bold today, right? Didn't Jesus' power helps us to be bold? So I'm hoping you're thinking about that and how that's going to help you be bold too. So here we go with the Memory Bible Buddies. Day three Memory Bible Buddy, pull it out of your bag. It is the uh, that mountain lion, that Sierra, that mountain lion that we're going to put on our chain for day three. And it's God sighting time. Watch for God. So pull out your post-it notes, and I want you to write down some things that how you saw God in action today. So friends, we have another Zoom call at 7.30. If you'd like to join us, just click on the link, and I'd love to talk to you by Zoom. Have a great day. Day and evening and we'll see you tomorrow.